It's read this book, Bucket Boy, by Ernst L. Meyer. It's essentially like a memoir of his boyhood in Milwaukee. It's like Milwaukee before the First World War. His like his dad's like a writer for various German language newspapers, like anarchist newspapers. And so the book's kind of like a good glimpse into the sort of German immigrant socialist intellectual world that really did exist at one time in this city. The essential energy of that's all gone now, but it's, it's a fairly good glimpse into that. So like his dad's like a great big anarchist and his dad's friends are like great big anarchists, but they're like really successful. Like they have like really nice houses and stuff. And then like Emma Goldman will come through town and have like a beer party and this kind of stuff. And so, but then when the book starts off, it's got like these sort of like sophomoric glorifications of beer drinking, like, you know, beer jokes and this kind of stuff. And I felt like I'd stumbled upon this kind of German immigrant variation on like Cheech and Chong or something, but like it moves past that into kind of these like oddball character sketches of like men who drink a lot but are somehow wise or something like you know the guy who lives above them is like the police reporter for the newspaper and he's all eccentric and he's like you know wears a fez around and like shoots mice in his hallway with a revolver but like of course he's like a really good piano player because he's all cultured and shit you know this is like 1908 and Meyer's like you know a, you know, a sort of bookworm intellectual kid, like his friends want to go to like the city dump and like shoot rats with their rifles, you know, but he wants to stay at home and read Edgar Allan Poe and stuff like that. And like, oh, oh, and like sometimes like some of the games they would play, like after school, they would like round up a gang of kids and like play cannibal and they're like, find somebody who had like a baby brother and like put him in a stock pot and the game would just kind of go from there or something you know and like you know, oh they had like open air beer gardens back in Milwaukee then they had like a merry-go-round and like adults would just go there and they'd bring their kids along and like, put them on the merry-go-round and just get drunk and the merry-go-round would be like powered by like an old like brewery wagon horse with like a system of cogs and shafts you know this is a Milwaukee where people still held a grudge against the Prussians. It's like, try going down to Water Street and find somebody who holds a grudge against the Prussians. Oh, 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 this is like, like men would wear, like, men with, like, handlebar mustaches would, like, go to bed at night wearing this, like, binding mechanism that would like hold their mustache in place like so they wouldn't have like a bad mustache day. <laughs> That's like